for another season of Rocket League with Edgewood College Esports. And today, uh, we have a match against uh, UW Whitewater Black. So this is a match as sort of, in some sense, the preseason of the Wisconsin Collegiate Rocket League uh, tournament, or, or competition, I suppose. And uh, we're just about to get started. And we'll just quickly get the overlay up once I can figure that out. And here we've got it. We are underway between Edgewood and UW Whitewater Black. Thank you all for joining us. My name is Reed Kamai. I'm a post-baccalaureate communication student at Edgewood College. And I'm looking forward to finally bringing this one to you. Right now it's Edgewood sort of on the back foot here. But uh, Keelan has sent in that wonderful air ball that goes all the way through. And Edgewood are the first on the score sheet. Good aerial finish from from Keelan. And he's no stranger to doing that sort of thing. He's easily very uh, dominant from the air. So no surprise to see him getting the first goal. It's just 20 seconds in. And already it's 1-0 to Edgewood. And right now it's Brad in there. But Keelan is able to punch that one away. And just now Aspect having to defend. And he gets another clear there gone up for S SWX Wing is I think the name of that player and Aspect having to, to get involved there again that's that's Jake uh, playing in there as as Aspect right now being very involved along the walls here as Keelan has to clear he's gone back again and <laughs> just now Keelan got demoed and Aspect again getting involved in the middle. Back to Keelan, who has another air ball. And it's cleared off the backboard by Gravy, but not well. And Keelan is there to poke home for his second and Edgewood's second. Let's have another look at this. Yeah, it was just a failed clearance there by... I think that was Gravy. I actually missed who, who made that. But already 2-0 to Edgewood. So far looking very good here. And that's gone down off aspect. And was cleared away back to uh, Brad. Brad swings in and then Keelan, his his effort was just a bit of a whiff there. Now Gala's trying to do some air airplay of his own, but that doesn't quite succeed. Now it's to Venom or yeah, sorry, sorry, Brad, just mixing up the names here. Uh, clear away, and now it's Gala now for, for Whitewater. But that ball is sent well wide. Over now to Keelan, let's see what he can do. He can probably do a lot. Play the way there by X-Wing. And now it's Aspect there on the 50. And that went in favor of Gala, it looks like. Now Edgewood having to play defense. And I think that was... Keelan, who did get a touch there, to send that one back away. Out to Gala then. Aspect with an important clearance. And 
And now it's Aspect bringing this one forward, brought it to the corner, and now he's going to go up to contest this one with X-Wing. And that one is played in favor of Whitewater Black. And another 50 there. Keelan there in the midfield, but now Edge would have to get back, and that's a good save from Aspect. He had to get up there. And go Airborne. Once again, Keelan. And... Gravy now, and that shot has gone just wide. Whitewater almost able to have the deficit. And now Keelan has just been demoed, and it's up now to Aspect to, to play the defense, and it's touched home by Gala. Let's see how this one has gone. He just played there off the wall, and ultimately he had flown in, and I think that was Keelan who had attempted to clear that one, and ultimately that was a good finish there from Gala, and it's now 2-1, and it's now 2-2, as X-Wing equalizes just like that, straight from the kickoff. Let's see what happened here. Yep. It was very weakly played in the middle, and X-Wing goes in to, uh, to tap that one home. He <laughs> had the angle he needed. And it's 2-2, just like that. And now Edge would have to respond, and they do! Keelan once again. It's a hat-trick for him so far. Oh. So... 3-2 the score line now. Kick off and Gravy now with a with a good air ball there. And cleared away back to Keelan. And a demo, it looks like looks like Jake was the one who, who got hit there. Now he's had to go all the way back. You're now to Brad. And it's Jake now who sent that one forward. Jake could have a good look here off the corner, but doesn't quite get that. Back to Keelan. And Keelan's going to have a good ball here. And he's just hit that one off the end very well. And then off the backboard. And that's his fourth and Edgewood's fourth as well. Really good finish. He did that one all on his own. Really just in the right place where he needed to be. And it's Edgewood 4, UW Whitewater Black 2. This is a best of five series. And right now Edgewood look to be about to take game one as they get a demo as well. And that shot from a, from a wide angle from Brad is parried away. Back over to Jake. Now out to the side for, for Brad. Now into the final 30 seconds. And it's Jake flying in there. And it's 5-2 now to Edgewood. As they look to have just about sealed this one. He had all the room he needed. And it was a very clean finish on his part. So 5-2 it is. So, looking like a good win here for Edgewood. Although, Whitewater have a response here. Gala once again. Let's have a look, see what happened here. Well, Keelan wasn't in a position to defend that one. Directly underneath the goal scorer, Gala. So, 5-3 it is now. And now Edgewood will, will just look to see this one out. Run the timeout. And there's another demo. And it <laughs> looks like Whitewater do have a fourth. Through Gravy this time. I think uh, Jake was looking for the bump there. And he got the bump, but just too late. So now Edgewood re will really have to see this one out. And it's gone off the side here. They just need to get this one to touch down. And they do. It's Edgewood's game. And... Uh, 
So as they they lead one uh, game to none in this series. Yep, best of five, <laughs> and so uh, we'll go on now to uh, game two in in this series. All right, so into game two now. And it's, uh-oh, goal's been left open for UW-Whitewater to take full advantage, and they do. It's X-Wing straight from the kickoff, and now it's UW-Whitewater, who have the early 1-0 lead. That was way too easy. off and it's Keelan who was able to get the, in there up, up the wall there's a touch from uh, Brad but I think that just went in the wrong direction but Brad could have a good look here and that one is is off the backboard Keelan unable to poke home so Brad now back up to aspect to uh, Jake and it's Keelan and in off the underside of the crossbar. And it's 1 1. Let's have a look here. Yeah, that was that was the exact touch he needed. Otherwise that was probably gonna be kept out. So 1 1 now. A little under a minute in here. Game two in this best of five series. Edgewood won the first. Back out, and it's Brad who, who just took that one down before it was deflected away. It's forward here, and now the, the three Whitewater players were all in the corner there. That's a bit of a risky maneuver, I'd have to say as Keelan gets the demo there, and Keelan <laughs> looks like he might have had, had the goal had he gotten that touch right. Back out here, and it's in for Brad. And now all three Edgewood players are on the score sheet. And it's 2-1. A minute and a half in. Yeah, that one fell very kindly for Brad. Really just an easy poke into the corner there. Into the top corner, I should say, of the net. So it's 2-1 to Edgewood. They're now in front. Now it's Jake off the wall. Jake and Keelan having to uh, shepherd that one away. Now out to Brad. Brad could make something happen again. Wouldn't bet against him about that, but that one goes wide from him eventually. And then he's able to get the demo on Gala. But now he's got to keep this one out as that goes off the backboard. Brad able to clear. And that one's in. Oh, that almost went off, off the bar. Well, it was off the bar on that effort from Whitewater, and Edgewood not in position to defend. And now it's uh, Keelan, who's off the post. So Keelan coming very close once again. Gravy now trying to take that one off the wall. But it's Brad now, as Keelan's been demoed. So now Brad would have had to take that one by himself there to play it and he could have a good look here not for gravy intercepting that one off the the top of the the uh, Jake car Jake now up to send that one and Brad looking for the second touch in the air he gets it but not quite on target as Jake is demoed 
Brad just now. It was a bit late on, on that jump. Could have had a look in there. We've gone about two minutes without a goal. Still 2-1 to Edgewood here in Game 2 in this best of five series. And now it's 2-2 two, two as Gala finds the equalizer. Good touch there, and it actually looked like Brad actually knocked uh, Keelan out of the way. Just a double commit there on defense. You don't want that sort of thing happening. So 2-2, two, two, and that kickoff went only just wide. Almost could have been 3-2 to Whitewater. Keelan now, and that was a good ball uh, across the uh, defensive half. Looked possibly to find... Uh, uh, I think that was that was Jake, and that shot went just wide. But now it's up to Jake, and Jake could find it through. And Brad would had flown in there in a two-on-one, but didn't quite finish that one. Now in for uh, Keelan. <laughs> Ball's kind of. Bogged down in the midfield, everyone getting involved. But now it... Oh, it almost went through everyone from Jake. And it still might. And that's just been deflected and off the crossbar. So, Edgewood almost going in front. And now it's Brad having to defend. He's going to have to get across here. I think the ball did eventually miss everyone. Now over to Keelan. And Keelan gets a demo. And gets that one to deflect off the corner of the arena played down, and Brad has to make the save as we get into the final 10 seconds. We'll, of course, have overtime if neither team can score. Keelan getting in there. That's an aerial demo, and now Edgewood will probably prefer to take this one to overtime after the demo. And that one's played across, but not quite into the net, and we will indeed have overtime in this game, too. Edgewood will look to go two games to none up in the series, and that one might just be in here for Brad, and it is actually Jake who gets in there, that one had just trickled across the face of goal, and he was there to make the touch, it was a really simple touch, even having to defend against two Whitewater players. So it's two games to none now, Edgewood lead. Just a quick uh, explanation of the of the context of this match that Edgewood are playing today. Well, and of course, uh, UW Whitewater. Uh, so this is within the Wisconsin Collegiate Rocket League competition. Now, last season there were three uh, divisions of play, <coughs> and this season the competition will actually now have four divisions, with the rating cutoffs being at 11:30, 13:10. And 1570, and so because of the expansion to four divisions, uh, some of the teams have to be split up between the uh, different divisions. So uh, this match right now, as well as another that will take place uh, later this evening, will uh, help decide that. Among with, of course, a bunch of other matches going on with the uh, other teams in the WCRL. So last season, Edgewood were in uh, Division 3, <coughs> and depending on the results of today, uh, they will be in either Division 3 or Division 4. So we'll see how that goes. All right now, Ed Edgewood lead the series uh, two games to none, but we've certainly seen plenty of reverse sweeps in in this competition, and indeed throughout Rocket League, so nothing is off the table yet. So Edgewood will still have to compete for this uh, third game and for the match. Good clear there and then a nice demo from, uh, excuse me, from Jake. And then it was Brad being demoed over in the uh, offensive half, but otherwise have had a good effort on target, if not for that. Now Jake has to get back on his wheels. Keelan missing the clear there. Now Keelan having to get back to defend. 
That one is. It's gone. It's gone all the way off the uh, the the back the wall there. Although Keelan was in a good position, but was kind of bumped out of the way before he could really get a, a convincing touch in there to try to find the first goal in this match. Just a minute and 40 seconds in. Now Edge would have to get back. As it was Gravy and X-Wing who were pushing forward. And now it's Gala who could get something here from, from the air. Now it's X-Wing and that one was poked away before I think that was Keelan could get anywhere with it. Now Jake now. Jake could take this one off the wall and it was Gala to intercept. So Jake now then off the wall didn't quite get the 50 as I think that was X-Wing who had flown by And now it's a double commit there from UW Whitewater. As they're, as they're looking to find something, but I don't think they're really in sync with each other. Two minutes to go. Still no goals in this one. Edgewood with the chance to seal this series, but now they're going to have to push a little bit harder to do that in this match after this goal by, or in this game, I should say, after this goal by X-Wing. Oh, that was that was a one-on-one -on -one right on the left uh, edge of the goal. X-Wing needed just a touch, and X-Wing got just a touch. So now it's 1-0 to Whitewater. Now Edgewood have to get back to defend again. And they don't do that because X-Wing doubles Whitewater's lead. Does it all on his own. As he gets in there, and this one was an even easier finish than the first. So 2-0 now. That's really changed the complexion of this third game. In the space of just a few Rocket League seconds. Aspect has played this one off the wall in the air. Back out to Keelan, who is thoroughly demoed there. Clear by Brad. And it's Brad again, and that's that was a good touch, and Gravy had to be alert to that and play that one away. Aspect now, and Edgewood don't deal with that. It's a hat trick for X Wing. Let's see, and it was it was a really similar goal, you have to say, from with with the first two. Just played right to him and right in front of goal. Edgewood just making it too easy for X Wing that time. So it's three nil and we'll probably be looking at a fourth game here. Unless Edgewood can can really put something together. But they have to defend from this, and it was almost X-Wing who played that one to himself. Keelan clearing that one away. Now we could get in and look to have maybe created an effort much like what Whitewater scored from three times in this game. right before he got demoed. Final 10 seconds there, and it looks like this will be going to a uh, fourth game. And indeed it will, once this ball is grounded. And so... waiting for the ball to be grounded, and indeed that's what happens. So, it is two games to one in this best of five series.
Hope you all are staying warm wherever you are. I had to make a quick walk from where I uh, parked the car to, to, to get here. I had two gloves on, and my hands were still cold. So, there you go. But it sure is nice to be here. It's nice to be on with the rest of you folks. It's nice that we finally got uh, <laughs> the Rocket League on here, and, and I get to be part of it. Um, we've been trying for a very long time, of course. But it's time now for Game 4 in this Best of 5 series. Which would lead this one two games to one. So one more win from Edgewood, and they'll have the series. But they've gone behind again. Gala getting the finishing touch. And certainly Brad flew in there, attempting to clear that one. And didn't quite manage it. So an early 1-0 lead then for UW-Whitewater-Black. Make that 2-0. X-Wing this time. And it was another simple finish. Getting very used to seeing the, uh, the flower explosion from X-Wing's goals. Oh, don't tell me this is going to be three. Uh, Brad there to make the clearance. You know, Edgewood playing a little bit more sustained than in the, than in the opening few seconds of, of this match. Really able to have some uh, amount of control here, as it could be flown in there for uh, Keelan, but he's just overdone it as that ball went past everyone before it went uh, slightly off the post, or very softly, very soft touch. Uh, but now it's Jake, and Jake could have the deficit here if not for it going off the post. Very close there from him. And then Jake is demoed as that ball was sent forward by, I think that was Brad. And now it's Keelan. Finally back to his goal scoring ways. Haven't seen that in, seems like a long while, even though it's probably been about 10 minutes. <laughs> and he's able to get the double touch there and get around the uh, defending Whitewater player. And it's 2-1 now. Anybody's game four here. Keelan once again. And Keelan is demoed. Jake put something together here. Nope. Back out to Keelan as he was bumped. And now Edgewood might be able to create something, although Keelan might have appreciated a little bit more boost than what he had. Back out, Jake able to make the clearance, and oh, he was in position, just overcooked that one a bit. Could have had a good angle for a shot. Two Fifteen to go. Two one Whitewater in this game four. Two one Edgewood in the series. Brad there, who flew in for that one. Now Edgewood having to get back. 
They better be thinking about scoring another goal as we're into the final two minutes. Right now, still just having to clear and really playing some last-ditch defending. They can thank Jake for making that stop. Jake now, over to Keelan. Keelan couldn't quite get the touch. They were just sort of both in each other's way. Touch from Jake, cleared away by Gravy. And now Brad has a good angle. Might just be able to get a look here. And Keelan having to go up for that one doesn't quite get there, as Gala did. Now we're within into the final minute. Now, Keelan able to get the demo on Gravy. They really need to get something going, and what Brad needs is boost. He's a full boost pad and doesn't quite find it. But now he does, as it's Keelan really going for it in the air. And seen as much from him in this game four until now. And X-Wing, I think that was, who was looking for uh, looking for the finish from the air that really would have finished off this game four and sent us to a decider. Touch from Brad cleared away. Now Edge would really have to go for it. It's Keelan. That full corner boost had been taken as he had gotten up there. And now Edgewood are, are going to have to juggle this one. And Brad can't quite get over there. So it is... 2-2 now in the series. And this one's going to go to a game five. So we got a full taste of, of Rocket League in this uh, very first uh, match of the season. And so this one, two decide it. Edgewood and Whitewater. Edgewood who get the uh, uh, the kickoff to start this game five. Off the corner, Keelan unable to do anything with it. And it's Jake who gets it in for this first goal, and this was the start that Edgewood needed. Well, we've seen some early goals, well, with the exception of game three, plenty of early goals uh, in this uh, match between the two teams. This time it's Edgewood who have it, so they'll feel in a very good position right now to uh, to hopefully take this game five, have themselves a winning start to the season. Until now, Gala, and this is not the kind of goal we've seen from a Whitewater in this match so far. Playing that one from a bit more of a ways out from outside the penalty area, as, as shown by the lines there. I didn't actually realize that this field <laughs> had the traditional soccer lines. Until just now as I had seen it. I think a bit of miscommunication from, from Edgewood in trying to defend that one. Allows Whitewater to level the scores. 1-1 in this game. 2-2 in the match. 2-1 in this game. Now... After X-Wing puts Whitewater ahead. Let's take a look. You have to say that's a beautiful finish. Wide angle. And gets around the defenders. So it's 2-1 now. Whitewater go from a goal behind to a goal in front. And right now, Edgewood really just have to get themselves organized you're not doing and they've been caught flat-footed and in particular it was I think Brad oh that's tough he had just gone back down onto his wheels right as the goal scorer arrived so 3-1 now Now 
now. Edge would have some catching up to do if they're to take this series. Could have gotten that one there, except Brad was out of boost. He was in a position where wouldn't have been able to do much without boost. And now here comes uh, Keelan. Now back to Brad. This time he has some boost. And steals that corner full boost. He went up there, but not really much going on on the backboard. Good bump there by Keelan. Able to take the momentum away from Gala. Clear there from Aspect. And Jake was well demoed there. And Edge would really have to get someone forward now. Might be able to do that. There's a demo. Right over in the in the defensive uh, portion of the pitch for well, as far as Whitewater are concerned. X Wing's able to push that one forward to, if nothing else, just wipe some time off the clock. That's what Whitewater will be wanting to do. Just put Edgewood in a position where they can't really do anything with the ball. which is what's happening now. And Gala makes it 4-1 to Whitewater. It's well done, I think. Not sure if it was him who got that corner boost there. If not, that makes it even more impressive. Just beat Keelan to the touch. And that was a good sideways rolling hit. has probably been the best player for Whitewater in this game so far. And they've had it spread out pretty evenly in terms of in terms of the actions of the Whitewater players in this match. And Edgewood might be able to get their second, but that's a fantastic stop there from Gala. Got right over there immediately. Otherwise that was an open net. Keelan now probably just overused his boost there. What can he do now? He's going to send this one around. And I think Brad was intended to be there in support, but uh, did not arrive. Or was not able to. One minute to go now. will have to clear this. It might be too little too late, you have to say. Jake forward now, and Jake it. Now is the comeback on. That was a really good individual effort from him. Take a look. First just off the backboard. Well, Gala right below him, or below the ball, for all his incredible efforts, was in no man's land. Wasn't about to stop that. And that just allowed Jake to poke that one home. And now it's 4-2. Keelan demoed. Not what he needs now. Oh, Jake. Or, excuse me, that was Keelan. Now it's Brad who's come around. That was going to be a difficult touch for him. And into the final 10 seconds. And Whitewater almost had a fifth. Edgewood lucky to get away with that one, but that will just about do it for the series. So Edgewood end up being reverse sweeped or reverse swept. And so it's Whitewater who takes this first match of the season. And they do it three uh, games to two. So that's the first of two uh, classification matches, we'll call them for determining which division Edgewood uh, and the other teams will end.